See, the law was really to usher in the birth of the Christ. But it stopped, you see. It crystallized into a mindset and a doctrine and dogma. And people were beginning to worship the letter of the law instead of the spirit. They were worshiping the outer instead of the inner. Reinterpretation of the law. That's the, the gift that he began to share with us. The masses supported Jesus the Christ. They were ready. They connected on that heart level. Because you know what? He saw them. He saw them. And you know what? When we begin to see people, we can begin to know people. And so as he looked at people and saw them, they looked at him. And you know what he revealed? God. He revealed God to man. As simple as that. The shifting consciousness. He was supported all along the way. And it's a wonderful story to just kind of look behind the scenes and see how it all unfolded. And it went over ages. Ages and ages and ages. And now we move into a new age. <coughs> we move into that new age. As Jesus ushered in that new age then, that age of Pisces. Now we usher in the age of Aquarius, a new age. An age to maybe reinterpret the laws and rules that have been given to us through our religions and philosophies. The classes that Cindy has created here, metaphysics and interpretation of Old Testament, New Testament, things like that, she is allowing us to be exposed to a higher form of truth. Reinterpreting the law for now. Reinterpreting the law for now. It's 2010. We have support now. We live in the age of communication. We have access to all sorts of information. We just have to go there. We spend so much time on little things and maybe getting to know mortal and material ways and people. If we just took 10% of that and put it on maybe understanding our spiritual nature, the spiritual nature of man, God's plan. What's the spiritual nature of God's plan? And to, and to begin to allow that to, to grow that inner star, that inner light. I think that's what Christmas means to me the most. It's, it's like each year I think of the Christ being born anew in my heart each Christmas. I really go with it each day. But on a planetary level, more and more people maybe look at it like that. But that's, if we begin to look at the truth of God's plan, the spiritual unfoldment of man on earth, begin to express our divinity, our spirituality. This is what's going to allow us to create heaven on earth. This is what's going to allow us to move into the kingdom of God. Planet earth, we could look at it like a bridge. And you know what? A bridge isn't a good place to build your house. <laughs> Is it? Too much traffic. Confusion. Bridges are important, aren't they? Bridges help us get from one place to another. To begin to look at our walk on planet Earth, where's it supposed to lead us? That's a question we could all ask. And to begin to get an understanding of that answer is to go back and listen to these masters of the ages and what were they teaching. And you know, it was all simple. It was all about love. It was all about recognizing God, divinity. Ultimately, the divinity with ourselves. 
And so each one of us, this Christmas season, if we choose, can uh, believe that we are the sons and daughters of God. That within our hearts is that light, is that spark of the Christ. And that as we begin to reinterpret who we are, maybe the identities that the world has given us, to reinterpret who we are, reinterpret some of the beliefs that we hold about ourselves about life, and come and be current in 2010. To live the life we were born to live in 2010. To express our higher qualities in 2010. That's the gift that we can give ourselves. This is from Spirit. The conduct of life rests on an act of faith, which begins with an experiment and ends with an experience. And that act of faith, we don't know. We might have a hunch or an idea, but we stand on that faith. I'm going to give it a try. That's experimenting with it. And that experimentation with faith, with who we are, the God within, is going to take us through an experience that will show us who we are. The conduct of life, our conduct in life, rests on an act of faith. <coughs> Following that inner guidance, having faith in the inner guidance. And then to take a chance on yourself. Take a chance on ourselves. Experiment. I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to try it. And then go for it. Let it take you into the new experience. The experience that is for right now. Living experience is paramount in our spiritual evolution. We all know that we learn from experiences. So if we go within when we're going through our experiences, like Pat read from White Eagle, going within and ask the guidance. We're going to get it. And then begin to walk it. The place where we are now is the place where we're supposed to begin our journey. Not to escape it. We all have had many, many unseen support energies in our life. Know that you've had them. Let's know that we've had them. We didn't need to recognize them. They didn't have to be right in our face. But we know we've all been supported. And we're going to continue being supported. So walk in that faith. I'm going to, I know I'm going to be supported in my new identity. I know I'm going to be ex supported as I experiment with my divinity. And I know that my experiences are going to be perfect. I'm going to accept them. And I'm not going to allow them to be stepping stones in my journey. Evolving as spirit made manifest. Let's go within. And as we go within, and just close your eyes and just breathe. Breathing and feeling that love of God filling you, feeling the love of God enfolding you, feeling the love of God supporting you now. Just breathe it in and just know how loved you are. Just know how precious you are to your Heavenly Father. Just breathe it in. Feel your body getting soft and receptive to be able to receive greater love. I ask to feel your love, Father. Feel your energy 
soft and relaxed. Feel your vibration quickened. And now we're going to go within. We're going to go within the heart. And with conscious intention, we turn within and we begin to move toward our heart. So as you move towards your heart, and you look ahead, you see a, a real <coughs> small light. It looks like a star off in the distance. But keep moving towards that star. And as you move towards the star, call forth the star to be closer to you. And just be aware as that radiant star begins to grow bigger and brighter. Bigger and brighter and more radiant as it fills your heart. And just look at that star. That star of light, that Christ star. Just look at it. And as you stand before that light, as you stand before that Christ spark, just feel the energy of the Christ. And breathe it. Allow that Christ light and Christ love to flood through your body now. And as you stand in communion with the Christ, you can ask for whatever you choose. If you seek release from the old, ask it. If you seek support in the new, ask it. If you seek to know God, ask it. Ask and you shall receive. You are the beloved child in whom your Heavenly Father is well pleased. So just breathe and just allow these waves of the Christ's love and light to just sweep through your body now. Cleansing the temple, allowing for that rebirth in consciousness. Allowing your truth to be revealed to you. Breathe and feel how loved you are. Be still and know. I am with you always. I am with you always. Take a breath. Feel this energy. Know this energy. This is who you are. And when you're ready, just gently open your eyes. The place that we're all at is the place where we can begin our journey. Our journey to our Christed awareness, expression, and manifestation on planet Earth. And so it is. Yeah.